Welcome back to another Arduino beginner tutorial. Today we're gonna learn how to make LED light fade. For this we are gonna need a protoboard, Arduino Uno, a LED light, 220 ohms resistor and two wire. Now we're gonna take a protoboard and Arduino Uno and we're gonna start with the LED light. As you see the LED light has a shorter pin and a longer pin. The longer pin is a plus and the shorter one is a minus. So we're gonna take a 220 ohm resistor, pin it into the same row as the minus pin and the other end of the resistor to the blue row of the protoboard. Now we're gonna take the black wire and connect it to the blue row of the protoboard and the other end of the wire to the GND on the Arduino Uno. Now we're gonna take Take an orange wire and connect it to the same row as the longer pin on the LED light and the other end of the wire to pin 3 on the Arduino Uno. As you see pin 3, pin 5, pin 6, pin 9, pin 10 and 11 have a symbol at the start of the number. That's because those pins support P, W, M and this will allow us to make our LED light fade. Alright so now we wired everything, let's connect the Arduino to our computer and we're gonna start with the code. Alright, so first of all we have to name our pins, so we're gonna type constant LED equals 3 because the LED light is connected to the pin 3 and we're gonna need another int value to control the fading, so we're gonna type int fading equals 255. Now we're gonna go into the setup function and tell the Arduino what is actually connected to the pin 3. We're gonna type pin mode LED output. Alright, so now let's go into the function loop. Here we're gonna type our program, so we're gonna type while fading is smaller than 255. A while function is always gonna run until the condition is true. So here we're gonna type analog write. A analog write goes from the value 0 to 255. 255 is the maximum and 0 turns off the LED light. Here we're gonna go into another row and type fading equals fading plus 10. With this row we're actually gonna make the light fading. So when you put a delay into your code, the program is going to wait for a certain amount of milliseconds on the same row. In this instance, we're going to wait for 25 milliseconds. Now let's make another while function. Here we're going to type while fading is bigger than zero and we're going to make the light fade out. So we're going to type again analog right LED fading. In another row, we're going to type fading equals fading minus 10. And now we also have to add a delay for 25 milliseconds. So for this to work, we have to actually make the values between 0 and 255. If you add a different value to the analog right, it's not gonna work. So we're gonna fix that with typing a if function. So if fading is bigger than 255, we're gonna set it to 255. Else, nothing's gonna happen. And in the while function where we fade out the LED light, we're gonna type if fading is smaller than 0, it's gonna set fading to 0. Alright, so this is it, now let's upload the code, we messed up something, alright, uh, we have to fix the symbol over here, delete it and now let's upload it again. And here we go, we did it, the light is fading, but it's way too fast, so we're gonna add another if statement, if fading is 0, we're gonna wait here a little bit, so we're gonna type a delay, so if fading is 0, this means the LED light is gonna be turned off. We're gonna wait for a couple of seconds, so we're gonna type delay 2000 milliseconds, this means 2 seconds. So the program is gonna wait in this row for 2 seconds before the light is gonna start turning on again. And as you see the light doesn't completely turn off, so we're gonna fix this just by cutting the analog right and put it in the end of the function. Now let's upload the program and everything is working great. The LED light turns off and waits 2 seconds and then it turns on again. Now let's change this number again and now it's gonna wait for 500 milliseconds which is half a second. And as you see everything works great. If you want the LED light to turn on quicker you can change the delay values and also the fading values. Let me show you an example. If you want the LED light to blink faster we're gonna change the values to 25. And as you see it's working great. It's turning on quicker. We can change this to 50 also. It's gonna make it even quicker. Now let's upload. And as you see, it's working. You can also change the delay. Let's change this to 15 seconds. We also have to change it over here. And yeah, everything is working great. We made it. So thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed, leave a like on the video. If you made the LED light fade, comment down below. Let me know that you did it. But if you had any problems, also comment down below. And I'm gonna help you out as soon as possible. Now, if you'd like to see another tutorial, leave a like on the video and subscribe. And I will see you in the next video. Goodbye.